Ask God to show it to you too. Uh -huh. Lord. Because I want to be sure that this is God showing me this opportunity that is presented before me. Sometimes we get right at the edge of opportunity. The door is open because we are frightful or scared. We won't walk in. It looks too good to us. It just can't be God mm -hmm. that has opened this door for me. Uh -huh. The money's too good. Uh -huh. The hours is just right. Uh -huh. It can't be God that's opening this door for me. Uh -huh. These are the things that we battle with, with missed opportunity. Uh -huh. But later on, in our lives. Uh -huh. When we are sitting around, we think to ourselves, I've missed the greatest opportunity in my life. Yeah. If I would have just walked through the doors oh, yeah. that God had opened for me, yeah. I would be further ahead right now in my life. Hallelujah. But because I was scared, uh -huh. say so. I miss this opportunity. Uh huh. And the reason why I'm preaching this this morning is uh -huh. because we find in our lesson Come on, Lord. that Jesus had taken Peter, James, and John and took them up to a high mountain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus always took these three with him. Yeah. Uh, to me, they must have been special to Jesus. Yeah. And the reason why I say that, because they were always the one. Look. And it's never recorded that the other ones was down at the bottom of the hill having a fit. Look. But you know that when the leader of anything uh -huh. Uh -huh. seemed to have his favorites, Lord, dear God. Some of the other people would get jealous. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's never recorded that the other disciples got jealous. Uh -huh. I believe that they were just happy to be a part of the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. But the Bible says that Jesus went up and he transfigured before them. Uh -huh. In other words, he changed before then. Uh -huh. And I come to tell you this morning, Jesus is transfiguring right now in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. And he don't want us to stay the same Sunday after Sunday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you hear in the word, something about the word should change you. Yeah. You just can't sit there and say, I wish they would have been here. I wish she would have been here. Uh -huh. The word got to get to you before you get to anyone else. Amen. How can you expect change in someone else and you haven't changed yourself? All right. All right. All right. But anyway, that's enough of it. Uh -huh. The Bible said that his face did shine as the sun. Yes, sir. And his raiment was white as, as the light. Yeah. Yes, sir. But what I really want to get to is where Peter opened his mouth. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everybody jumps on Peter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Saying that Peter was outspoken and Peter shouldn't say this and Peter shouldn't say that. Uh -huh. But I come to give Peter some defense this morning. Uh -huh. Go ahead now. Uh -huh. If Peter hadn't said what he said, Come on. Come on. Right. we would not be able to quote, quote, Lord, it is good for us right. to be here. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. If Peter hadn't opened his mouth uh -huh. That's right. and said what he said, uh -huh. let us build three tabernacles, one for you, uh -huh. one for Moses, and one for Elijah. That's right. uh -huh. We would never quote, it is good for us to be here. That's right, but I, I, I still have to defend Peter because 
Because Peter was bold enough to ask Jesus that if it's you bid me, come on. Everybody else probably wanted to come, but Peter was the only one with the nerve to say, if it's you, bid me to come. We got church folks. Come to church every Sunday. If you ask them to do something, they get scared. Go. All right. All right. <laughs> but in Peter's defense, uh -huh. Peter had an opportunity. So did James and John. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. To give God some glory. Uh -huh. Yeah. Peter said something. Lord, it is good for us to be here. And I began to think about Brother Peter uh -huh. and how people have beat him up all down through the years. Yeah. And, 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 and the more I thought about, about Peter uh -huh. and the rest of the disciples, and Peter was the one that stuck out to me. Uh -huh. Because when you look at the story carefully, uh -huh. none of them have ever in their life Come on, preach up. Say so. seen Moses or Elijah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Peter got excited. Uh -huh. He was overjoyed. Uh -huh. There was no cameras back there. Uh -huh. Come on, Rick. There was no cell phones. My Lord, there. my Lord. All right, all right. That I heard going off just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. A little beep, 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 beep. Uh -huh. I don't know what somebody owes somebody found off. There was no video back there. Yeah. Right. For Peter to know who Elijah and Moses was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so that lets me know that something had to happen in Peter's spirit. Yeah. Right. To recognize men that have been dead a long time. I know. I know. I know. You can't tell me if you've never seen me what I look like. No. Right. Right. Not unless the spirit has showed you who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Now if the spirit don't show you, you will never know. Jesus asked Peter, who the men say that I am? Some say you Elijah. Some say you the love of prophet. He said, Peter, but who do you say that I am? He said, you're the son of God. Jesus said, flesh and blood, I'm the real history. Now we find Peter again. Find Peter again. <laughs> two men that he never seen before in his life. And we sit here in the church house judging Peter because Peter said, Lord, it is good for us. Now Peter had an insight that we didn't even have. Peter was able to recognize somebody we never seen before. He looked at him and said, that's Moses. Yeah. And got happy. Yeah. He said, that's Elijah. Yeah. And got happy. Praise pasta. Jesus 
glory. Yeah. He almost missed the glory yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Because he got so caught up with who he Come saw. On, yes. And missed the glory. Yes. Huh?
But you may have brought them up to Jesus' level. Go ahead, now. And God said, up. wait a minute. I know they're good and all that. I know they got a good testimony. But let me tell you something. The one that's with you. John said there's one before me. That he was preferred before me. He said, there's one that's in the midst yeah. of all the greatness that you yeah. see. Yeah. He said, this is my beloved son. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to hear Moses. Yeah. Moses is dead and gone. Yeah. I don't want you to hear Elijah. Yeah. Elijah will take it off. Yeah. I don't want you to hear nobody else yeah. that's coming. Yeah. Yeah. All I want you to hear is hear ye. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. Glory. If you love me, yes, you keep my commandments. Hear ye. Hear nobody else. Hear ye. Yes, sir. Hear ye. Hear ye. Stop listening to everybody. All right. Hear ye. Yeah. That's all right. Missed opportunity. Yes, sir. But God straightened it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. By the time they should have been praising God for his glory. Yes. They missed the opportunity yeah. to give God some praise. Yes, sir. I think we got a good God. Yes. Yeah. To step in the space of God. Yeah. And we can be straight now. Yeah. Right there in the midst of God. So wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. They ain't the one. They ain't the one. They ain't the reason why I came down in this class. Yeah. I got to stop. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Not because you made a mistake. My Lord. My Lord. Say so. Not because you made a mistake. Uh -huh. But because there's someone great. 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 That's why when I go places, yes, uh -huh. I don't sit in the captain's seat. Right. Say so. That's right. That's right. Because <laughs> it's good to be somebody great. Great. Yeah. Hey. great. My Lord. My Lord. Somebody asked me why did I move out of the seat when I was over at Ashton Chapel. Oh. Their bishop was coming. Yes, sir. Their pastor had the other seat. Oh. I would have had to move. Yes, sir. If I didn't move. Go. Oh. Right. Somebody oh. great. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 This is Miss Opportunity. Oh. 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 Remember? It's good to see you. Amen. You almost oh, missed your opportunity. <laughs> but because of your faithfulness, because you know we had a little more time with you, you decided I'm going to come even at the end of service. I'm going to give God some praise. I'm going to give God some glory. I'm going to give God some honor. I'm going to give God some opportunity to give God some praise. That's all right. Talking to the children about praising God. Yes, sir. Yeah. We, all, we all have our own ways of praising God. Yeah. Never miss the opportunity yeah. to give God some praise. Yes, sir. You know, uh, um, 
while a couple weeks ago there was a bus accident, mm -hmm. and I think a child or two children have gotten got hurt on the bus. Mm -hmm. But right then and there, if you had something down on the inside of you, so. you would have said, "Lord, I thank." Yes, sir. That yeah. was yeah. bad. Yeah. That was could have been. Well, yeah. don't, don't miss your chance, your opportunity. And, and, and when we get a chance to be in a service, when we're in a service and God's glory is in the house, yeah. don't sit around looking for Moses right. and Elijah. Woo! Hey, hey, that's correct. Oh, glory. Trying to figure out and say, glory. it don't take all that. Oh. <laughs> because you're missing your chance to get in the presence of God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Right. This morning, have you ever been caught up so high yeah. that you lost the sense of where you was at. Yes. You didn't know that you was in a church service. Oh, Lord, be Only thing you knew that you was in the presence Praise of the Lord. Lord. And nothing else mattered. Mm -hmm. I come to tell you, when you get in the presence of God, yes. you'll shake that hundred dollar head. All right. Yes. 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 Off your head. Yes. <laughs> 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 That's all right, Pastor. Because, you know, um, I believe in prosperity. And I believe in my people looking, our people looking good. I really do now. I really do now. And, I, and, and somebody asked me, say, well, why don't you get you another car? I said, I'm not ready yet. I got my one when it's ready. I said, when I see my, my people that I'm over, prosper, and looking good, that's how I make a movie. Yeah, right. Until then, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be walking around here looking like a million dollars mm. and my people not looking good. That's, that's, that's not a pass. Amen. We got many opportunities <laughs> to get in the presence of the Lord. We just stand with me. Amen. Don't miss your opportunity. Yes, sir. Not only to praise God, but any opportunity God gives you to better yourself. Praise God. To move ahead in life. As long as you keep him first. Yes, sir. Everything is going to work all right. Don't miss your opportunity. I can tell y'all so many times that I missed opportunities and probably would have been further ahead of my life now. But with the mind that I had, it wasn't meant for me. It wasn't meant for me. I had to go through some things so I can be who I am now. Because if I wouldn't have went through what I went through, I wouldn't be who I am now. And if all the doors that was open for me and I would have walked through them, I probably would have been somewhere else. That's uh, right. You know, out of the will of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. I'm going to teach y'all something about faith ain't fair one day, too. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, I sure am. All right. Now. Because y'all get excited when we say faith ain't fair. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Shut up, don't you? Faith ain't fair. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Church doors are open at this time. For